savory and delicious home style cooking. Today, it's zucchini and squash casserole. Doesn't that sound just delicious? Okay, all right. So maybe not for many of you when you hear zucchini and squash. You may remember in another video, I made this dish before, but it was on top of the stove. Now we're gonna bake it. And we're gonna do a little bit something different to it. So I've already started it already. And can you see the layers in it? Here's some zucchini right here. Here's a, a layer of onion right here, a tomato. Here's the yellow squash right here. And here's another green zucchini. And here's a purple onion. And that's just to give it an extra color. Doesn't this look colorful? So this is it. It is so easy and savory and delicious. Here's my zucchini and squash. What I've done with this, I just sliced them, of course, wash. And then I put them in a larger container, not this. This is a bit small for what I did. I put it in a large bowl and I seasoned it. Whatever seasonings that you want. Salt, pepper, here's some, you know, my favorite basil. Whatever seasonings that you like. And I just let it sit. And I let it soak in the seasonings that I made because I'm not gonna season this. Everything about this dish is preparation. And if you've heard me say it once, you've heard me say it many times. How you prepare a dish and taking the time to make that dish look delicious, people are going to want to taste that dish just because it looks so good. And so seasoning it is your job but making it look delicious and tasty, you can do it. Just take your time. And this is almost done. I sliced these up, seasoned it, set it aside. I sliced my white onions, set it aside. I sliced my purple onions, set it aside. And I sliced some tomatoes, set that aside. This is a mixture of sharp, Kobe, and Swiss cheese. It can be any cheese that you like. And so that's what I did here. And I had everything, I have everything in separate bowls. So the layering, that's the easy part. Getting all of this together, it's just a little bit of preparation goes a long way. And so I'm just gonna do a little bit more so that you can see what I've done. I put some tomatoes in it, but not a lot. And I'm going to tell you something. As you can see, I've sparsed out the tomatoes, but I put them in certain places. In the beginning, in the middle, and towards the end. On each row, I've done that. Because tomatoes will get soft, and they will exude a lot of juice. And in the other video, as I've mentioned, zucchini and squash is a water vegetable. And you don't need extra juicy vegetables in with zucchini and squash because it makes its own juices. You don't even have to line this with any oil or anything like that because again, it'll make its own water. And so we're just about ready. I'm just going to layer it a little bit more right here so you can see, but it's really so, and then I just, you know, sprinkle some cheese on top. Every time I finish layering some, I sprinkle cheese on top. So we'll start, and this has the purple onion right here. You can see, I'll let you see that. It has the purple onion right here, and I'll put a green, zucchini and I'll find a yellow and I'll get a little white onion and we're in the middle so I can add one tomato we don't want to add too many and let's see and then I'll just do it again I'll oh, I have another purple it doesn't have to be any style your style that's what's important add your style to it that's what I always say and I want that because I just had that so We'll have another green one and a yellow. We find a yellow here, a yellow like that. And we'll put a, we will put a purple 
onion right there, and that's it. And then I'll sprinkle it a little bit more, like that. You don't want, I mean, it's up to you again. If you want a lot of cheese on it, have at it. Sprinkle that cheese on there. If you don't want too much cheese, but just want a taste of it, then do that as well. We're gonna finish layering this, and then after that, we're gonna put it in the oven. Here's some basil. I'm just gonna cut a few leaves of basil here and just sprinkle it on the top, just to add it that one little extra flavor and color. And we're gonna put it in the oven. Once you prepare all of your ingredients, preheat your oven because layering it is not gonna take long at all. So you preheat your oven to 350. We're gonna put it in the oven for 35, 40 minutes. We're gonna see this beautifully baked dish of savory and delicious squash and zucchini casserole. Stick around. Well, here's the finished product. Baked zucchini and squash casserole. Just take a look how pretty that is. Put the time together just to layer something like this, simple and easy, but this looks delicious. Even if a person doesn't like squash or zucchini, they're gonna see this and say, hmm, this looks good. Let me taste it. I'm gonna take this green and the yellow. Oh, can you see that? Look at that. It's hot, so I'm gonna cut it, but it cuts so easy. And when you put it on your plate, you're probably not gonna wanna cut it. I'm just doing it because right now, because I know it's so hot. 40 minutes, that is really, really good. The zucchini and the squash, they're not mushy. It's still a little crunchy. Even. I like the way the cheese just layered in between the vegetables and the onions and the tomatoes. It just glazed over it. And that glaze of the cheese gave it that extra, it's a sweet taste to it. Combined with the tomato juices and the different seasonings that I used, you have to try it. I know you will, it's just so good. Well listen, thank you again for tuning in to Kim's Seasoned On Purpose. And don't forget to subscribe and like and comment. You have to try this dish and let me know how it turned out for you. What kind of cheese did you use, for example? And, oh, 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 I wanna show you another thing. See how the tomato, it got a little soft and that's fine. It blended in with the with the vegetables just fine. It's a little wrinkly here. That's perfect. But if I would have added a tomato in every other in every layer, it would have been too much and too mushy for that. And so this is perfect. So try it for yourself. And don't forget, hit that bell so that you'll be notified the next time I'm on preparing one of these great dishes. And let me know if there's a dish that you'd like for me to fix. Well, listen, you know what to do. Make it a great day. And bye for now.